All right, so here's another tutorial on how to make this glitch effect here in After Effects. So let's create a new composition. I'm gonna rename it as a video. I'm gonna make it 1080p, three seconds. In my case, black background, click OK. I'm gonna drag and drop this video as a reference. By the way, if you wanna check out how to make this tech animation, you can visit my Patreon, link in the description, and see the full tutorial. From here, let's go to the projects, right click, new comp, rename it as final comp. Same settings, click OK. And let's drag and drop the video into the final comp. And for the displacement image, I'm gonna drag and drop this image. And let's drag and drop it into the composition. Press the letter S, scale it down, make it fit. And by the way, I'm gonna leave a link in the description with this image so you can download it. And let's uncheck this image, click on the video, and let's go to effects and presets, type in displacement. And now let's drag and drop the displacement map into the video. And we're gonna go and change up the video to image. And here at the max horizontal displacement and a max vertical displacement, you can increase or decrease the horizontal or vertical displacement. And it's going to create this really cool glitch effect. And by the way, I'm gonna animate this. So I'm gonna go back to zero, zero, and I'm gonna bring it to 10 frames. Let's activate the stopwatch at the max horizontal displacement, max vertical displacement. I'm gonna bring it to 20 frames, for example and just increase the displacement to make it look glitchy. You also can press the letter U, so it's gonna highlight the keyframes and just animate the full thing. You also can select the keyframes, right click, keyframe assist, select easy ease to make it smoother. I'm just gonna animate this fully real quick. And this is how the full animation looks like. And I'm gonna collapse the video, select it, and we're gonna go to the effects and presets and type in shift channels drag and drop the shift channels into the video select the video press ctrl d two times to duplicate and now we're going to need to rename every each layers i can right click rename this is going to be blue second one green third one red now let's go to the blue first as you can see up here we got the red green and blue so we're going to need to turn off the red so click on it and click on the turn off do the same thing with the green turn off let's go to the green Let's go to blue, turn off the blue, turn off the red as well, remain with the green. Now, but at least let's go to the red, go to the blue, fall off, green, fall off. And now let's select all three layers, go to the blend mode. If you don't have the blend mode, you can go to toggle switch. And this one is going to turn on the blend mode and go and select add. And here, all you need to do is just delay one of the layers. So I'm gonna delay the green and the red by two. And as you can see, it's gonna make this RGB effect. But as you can see, it starts with one single layer. And I'm gonna need to bring this one at the very beginning. So I'm gonna select all the three layers. And let's bring this here at the very start. And let's go at the end, select the work area and bring it where the first layer ends, right there. Hit play. So this is how I make this a really cool RGB glitch effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.